A new report by Haifa International says that only 23% of African youth engaged in agriculture are using any form of agricultural technology. The report surveyed over 29,000 youths, about 299 smallholder farmers, and roughly 110 agriculture technology startups, innovation hubs, and technology organizations across 11 African countries. And it found that lack of funding is the biggest barrier for the low adoption of technology by African farmers. More than half of Africa's rural population is employed in the agriculture sector, with about 46% coming from Kenya. Overall, technology adoption on the continent is quite low. Ghana, Senegal and Zambia have the lowest agri-tech adoption rate. All right, we're joined now by George Othiambo, the country director here in Kenya of Haifa International. He joins us now uh, via Skype from Nairobi. Thank you very much, Mr. Othiambo, for joining us tonight. So going through your report, 23% of youth engaged in agriculture use any form of agricultural technology, yet we know that agriculture is one of Africa's largest and most vital sectors. So why is investment in agri-tech so low? I think there is uh, generally a lack of awareness of the potential for use of technology within the agricultural sector, which uh, uh, we need to change. Uh, there is great opportunity for transforming Africa's agriculture by the use of technology and also attracting youth uh, into the agricultural sector itself. Huh? Uh, so uncovering those kind of technologies and innovations that will uh, support uh, agriculture and popularizing them is a very important uh, uh, need that uh, our study also uncovered. Okay, so the report also talks about a lack of financing and training. So let's first talk about training because some have, have advanced the argument that uh, farmers in Africa, number one, have poor digital literacy and unwavering respect for traditional ways of working, those still persist, according to some of those arguments. How much of this is a challenge? It's, it's, it's uh, both a challenge and also an uh, opportunity. Yeah? Uh, for instance, uh, the way we do extension is gradually changing to incorporate the use of uh, digital modes of extension. Uh, that's even becoming more pressing and uh, also imperative, uh, looking at, for instance, the impact that uh, COVID-19 has had on the agricultural sector. Our study also uncovered that uh, almost 40% of agribusiness were affected by COVID-19. Adopting technology for extension and training will really change that uh, and uh, have a greater impact and a greater outreach uh, to more farmers, but also attract uh, younger people into farming. Okay, so what about access to financial capital? What are some of the funding models that could work in the continent? Yeah, there are, there are different ways that uh, funding can be accessed. Uh, we could look at uh, the great opportunities for impact investment, for instance. Uh, there is uh, a great interest right now in agriculture uh, to solve uh, the challenge for food security within Africa. Uh, there are also different modes uh, that financial institutions are also uh, engaging in. Uh, risk guarantee mechanisms can also uh, increase access to finance, uh, but also uh, looking at uh, collateralized loans and financing and uh, leasing methodologies. So as we talk about enhancing the use of technology in, in Africa's agriculture, how can it be done in an affordable and accessible way, especially to those smallholder farmers in the continent? We need to innovate, uh, especially for the smallholder farmers. Huh? Uh, there are lots of uh, technological innovations out there that uh, need to be uncovered and supported to grow. AFA, for instance, is uh, looking at uh, running competition across Africa to identify these kind of technologies and also attracting young innovators and financing young innovators to innovate especially uh, for African agriculture. That might uh, uncover greater innovations that can be adopted by a wider um, number of people and uh, it's essentially drive the agricultural sector. All right, Mr. George Othiambo, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you very much for joining us.